And hello there fellow ragers, Nivo here, and today I'm going to be covering some basic macro tips for you guys just starting out. Just on a quick note before we begin this video, this UI is under construction, as I have just got this guy to 90 ready for gearing up etc. So, uh, let us begin, I'm just going to, as you see I've set up four macros, one is a variation of target and the other is of set focus on target and uh, for the purpose of this video I've made a little macro just to load up the macro menu and we'll be covering how I've actually done these later on in this video. So first things first, as you can see I've set focus on myself down here, I know it's obstructed by the stance bar which I can move out the way for you right now, just move that up there and lock that. So as you can see I set focus on myself and I'm going to target this level 90 known priest over here. And well first of all I will clear my focus and everything. Need a target and I need a target with both of these macros, right? So I'm gonna target the priest and my nature's cure works straight away, no problem. And then if I cast number two, it says I have no focus because if I actually target myself and set focus so then I can immediately, so think of this as a 3v3 example I'm setting the focus on one of my DPS and I'm healing the other at the same time so I'm targeting the one I haven't set focus, boom and then I need the one with it, so I've just cast it on myself there because I'm the set focus so bear in mind there is an 8 second cooldown on that, this is just an example of how you can be doing two things on two separate people at the same time. And another version of this is very effective for healers, and this is actually using a set of heals using the slash cast sequence in the macro. Um, so first of all I have the one that is for targets, which is regrowth. Oh no this is the set focus, my bad. Uh, rejuvenate. So regrowth, rejuvenate, and swift mend. All right, and then the other one is actually for my target, which is regrowth, rejuvenate, and as you can see, swift mend is on cooldown and the macro reset. And I will show you how that happened in a moment. So we'll cover that again quickly: regrowth, rejuvenate, swift mend. Then I've got regrowth and rejuvenate on myself. So as you can see, you can spread out your heals really effectively in 3v3 by using these simple macros. So now we're actually going to hop over to the macro menu itself to actually have a look at what I've done here. So remove one, which is for the actual target, and remove two for the actual set of set focus target. So remove one, as you can see, I'm showing the tooltip for Nature's Cure, which is what you can see on the right hand side of the screen there and basically you can use that for any of your abilities that you're using in the macro itself it is very effective to actually do so so you know what each macro does in case you forgot I personally don't actually name my macros normally this is just for the video so I've got slash target and then in braces I've got at target friendly because it's going to be a heal or a dispel it's not going to be anything more than that um, so it's at a player, not at um, an NPC, so uh, Nature's Cure is then the name of the ability. So you've just got to keep it blocked up and it's really easy to follow them. And then you've got Remove 2, which is slash cast at focus instead of at target, player, whatever. And that's Nature's Cure. So this way you don't actually have to target the set focus. So as you can see, I'm set focus on Nivaraj, which is me and I'm not actually target I'm targeting the priest over here and I dispel myself and then dispel that you see so it's a very effective macro um, moving on to the actual cast sequence um, it's very interesting because this is something that I've actually been reading about recently and it's actually very handy um, for healers because having the ability to heal someone over there with regrowth and swift mend and then just target it myself and do the same it's just nothing can beat that the amount of healing that you can pull off you just gotta be careful though because it can burn your mana if you don't know what you're doing um, 
as you can see, my mana dropped quite drastically there, just in that small example. So you wouldn't actually use that cast sequence, you could use it for just Rejuvenation and Swift Mend if for a quick heal and just have Rejuvenation instead of Swift Mend out. So it actually frees up a spot on the action bar as well. But covering how I actually did this, I haven't actually got a cast sequence on these because I could just call it heal if I wanted to and there's no actual need for it. But slash cast sequence at focus and slash cast sequence at target. Um, and then you're going to be doing your cast sequence of regrowth. Cola, uh, comma, even space, next ability, comma, space, next ability. And you can do that for as many abilities as you want, apart from it's this little keyword here, reset equals two. So if you notice, I'm just going to, I'm actually going to quickly close this. And I've broke that macro, but I'll sort that out now. There's Swift Men casted, and that has a longer cooldown than the others. So if I go do that again, as you can see, it's on cooldown, but it resets, so I can go straight back to regrowth. Still on cooldown? Oh well, I'm going back to regrowth. And then I can get the swift men down, you see? So, this is just a very basic coverage at the macros themselves. Um, I will be making more in-depth videos on add-ons and how to actually write Lua code in macros. And all the information that has been done in this video, the websites are in the description if you want to check them out and learn further. Thank you very much for watching everyone, this is Nivraj Official, and good night.